New Village is a very, very special place. You feel it when you sit in a classroom, when you talk to our teachers, when you talk to all of our staff. It's just different. Every single person that's here is completely invested in the work that we're doing. We have to be, because our girls bring that out of us every single day. And it's, it just makes it one of the most beautiful places to work in. A New Village student has heart, and that's what makes them so special. It's our responsibility to make sure that our students and our young people have the opportunity to take risks and experience failure without failing. And it's our responsibility as a village to ensure that our students have the best time possible. Ready? <laughs> How's your morning been? Good? It's in the name, it's a village. It's a very special village. It felt like it was just like a dream come true. Like I never thought that school could be the way that it is here. It's such a new, fun environment for me, coming from really big schools. I think about having to be independent and going to college. Before I came to New Village, I didn't really think about these things. Just having all the support here at school, it's very good for my future and everybody else's future. Looking forward to new things and new activities, it gives us motivation. While I was in middle school, I would say I was a very bad kid. <laughs> I just didn't know how to control my anger and, and like express how I was feeling. Having people around me that was supportive helped me. I wasn't doing so good because I was getting bullied. I started hanging around the wrong crowds and started skipping, and I had to get away from that. I had a big group of friends, but whenever I wanted to reach out for help, they would ignore me. When I was in sixth grade, I couldn't go to any class because I'd get bullied. I'd try to tell my mom, but she was the type of person to say, you can't run from this. I was hurt physically, mentally. That led me into an even deeper level of depression to where I did not come to school for weeks. I really wanted to be a teacher. Teachers from that same school turned my dream off. I had so much self-doubt when it came to me being able to actually even graduate. I was looking everywhere just to get my credits up. So it was very hard for me to find the light in the tunnel. Coming here in New Village kind of changed that. You have people to talk to. There's a lot of teachers and staff that I do trust. Seeing from last semester how much work I put in and how much I did for myself, it really just makes me feel so much more accomplished. Ms. Diaz, Ms. Vanessa, Ms. Coco, they've all supported me. We're like talking like friends would. I did not like school until coming here to New Village. The support from the teachers really just makes me want to go to school every day. One of the key aspects of big picture learning is for students to get the opportunity to explore. At New Village, you can really feel the energy of big picture learning. We see that in things like advisory, Mr. Oman, he just makes us feel comfortable. Advisory revolves around student interest, getting students the resources that they need, and make a path for their future. We definitely did a lot of advisory activities when it came to like inner circles, speaking on how we were feeling, doing art together. We have Spanish speakers in advisory, so he gets English speakers to help the Spanish speakers, because we're all a team. They're building relationships with each other and strengthening the relationship that they have with themselves. Uh, in Big Picture Model, we, we strive to uh, create learning experiences that are real for the student. The LTI program is the core of New Village. The internship model gives students the skills that they need in order to be successful for the rest of their lives. When a young person at New Village is asked what they're passionate about or what they're curious about learning, that changes everything. College and career readiness are intrinsically tied together. An internship program really helps develop uh, a student's interests, which might lead to a possible major, a possible career. I'm very into cosmetology. I love to do nails. I remember when I first came to Kyle, I actually asked, hey, do you guys have an internship when it comes to this? He was like, no, but we will. Being able to open up professional pathways for our students gives them the opportunity to make connections, real world connections, to their lives here at school. 
I didn't really think I was interested in like biking. I always thought it was like for people who had time, who had money, you know. It was a really fun experiment. I got to build the bike with recycled parts. I'm doing STEM, we're building like a car. You're not always gonna have fun. It's like a good experience to like try it out. You also have to have a job that you're passionate about. Right now, it's Para Los Niños Elementary School. I'm just reading to children, having them read back to me. I really enjoy it. Well, my internship is about translating. I just help my classmates to understand a little bit more. Yeah, work. <laughs> work. Big Picture Learning is about taking what, um, what interests them and what drives them and making it important for, um, for other people to hear. An exhibition is a project where you have to pick out an essential question that matches your internship. During exhibitions, students are really able to speak about their personal growth and development through the varied experiences that they're able to have here. I'm very passionate about psychology, so I was able to connect my internship to my exhibition, connect content classes and what I took from them and learned from them into my exhibition. Some students will make uh, projects that will do something in the community. Some students will make projects that will have a direct impact in their families and their lives. My exhibition was about bullying and the side effects of it. I really wanted to like share my experience to other students. My essential question was, what are the fields in cosmetology and what do they entail? It revolved around my internship. I went into business skills and cosmetology skills, the hours, certifications, actually get in depth with a cosmetologist. So in big picture learning, I think students really take ownership and take uh, charge of their learning. I like that they have meditation and wellness day because it's not just about like, get your homework done, do this. Let's focus on mental health. My first initial thought on meditation was like, why would y'all have meditation? Like, what is meditation for? When we're in a state of overwhelm and stress, we only have a certain amount of our brilliance and our talent available to us. It can be futile to continuously ask students to pay attention and bring their attention to the room if they haven't learned how to do that. I would not participate in it because I didn't understand why we were doing it. Having more agency and feeling like we have choice in our lives naturally makes its way into learning. As I grew and I actually sat and took the chill pill, it was amazing. If we're consistently, as we do here at New Village, using these practices, we can access our brilliance. I need that 10 minutes to chill out and not have my mind going crazy. Wellness days here are amazing. We gather as a school, we do different activities, basically like mental health days. But we're doing a lot of activities with our advisories. We've gone on hikes, we've gone to theme parks. Another thing we did was make like body scrubs, painting, sharing. These people had rescued wolves. Emotional wolves came. It was like a once in a lifetime kind of thing. As a community, it's a good opportunity for everyone. So I've been working with youth for 27 years. The role that I take is finding the ones that need a little extra help. I like basketball. I'm still learning English. I'm from Guatemala. I'm 17 years old. <laughs> Before I was really lost because I didn't have like any support. Now I have teachers that really support me, that really care about me. Like Vanessa, she loves me a lot and she's, I always tell her that she's like a mom to me, the mom I never had. The student that stands out to me was one of the first students that I met. I would hear this beautiful laughter throughout the quad. And little by little, I wouldn't hear that laughter anymore. She was in a situation that she needed help getting out of and she showed up to the school and I jumped in to help her. We went to the police station. I was there with her to fill out that report. We didn't come out of there till midnight. And I remember her coming into my arms, and I just told her, I have you, I got you, I got you. And I was telling her how proud I was. I hear that laughter through the quad again. I hear her coming to me and hugging me in the mornings. 
New Village is that school where she could go and with no questions asked, there was going to be someone here to help her. The doors here never closed on her. We know how to feel to feel. We are going through the same thing. We're growing the same way, like a sisterhood, a connection. They give me the nudge that I need to go because I don't always need somebody to walk with me. It's just amazing how staff members have changed my mentality. Two years ago, I would have not thought I could change the world. I would have said, that's impossible. Now, I know I could change the world by just being a better person myself. I will go to college and figure out life. <laughs> If you don't take risks, you don't know what fear is. Risks open you up. They could lead you to something big. You only live once. <laughs> I'm able to share so many good memories with my best friends. I feel like I'm just able to laugh to the point where we have stomach aches. The teachers, they really see a future on each of us. They really help us to achieve our goals. I will be the first person to graduate in my immediate family. I will also be the first one to start college and get my degree. I am the oldest of two little brothers. I can tell my brothers, if I could do this, then you can do it too. I'm just excited to go to college, have money, <laughs> live in a house in the mountains with like those little lights, have a family, have a lot of pets. And I know that my brothers who passed away will be proud of me. What drew me to the board of New Village was the level of commitment that I saw to really changing lives. You change systemic injustice one person at a time. Our girls getting a fair chance in life, that in turn does change futures. New Village changes the life of that individual student, of their family, and our community. This school is how you can make that happen. You can give these young women all of the opportunities that they deserve. I dream about a time when I could be fearless, where we're fearless together. We love our school. We love our girls. We're here to support our students, our family, and anyone who believes in the power of the girls that are here. We're excited about what our students can do. When I come to New Village, I feel like someone's wrapping their arms around me. You just feel love, and we need more of that in this world. <laughs>